Next up, we have Jonathan Hopper, founder of Visor. All right, thanks for bearing with us, guys. Can everyone hear me? Great. Well, um, thanks for dropping by. My name's Jonathan Hofberg. I'm the founder and CEO of Visor. Um, I founded the company with some colleagues in 2009 to develop and deploy a um, see-through head-mounted display for uh, consumer purposes. Um, we were a bit early, although um, I suppose only time will tell if actually that's the case, but that's what investors told us. <laughs> so um, anyway, jumping ahead today, we're designing head-mounted display systems to serve in industry using a combination of um, off-the-shelf and custom hardware and software. Um, and uh, we're building a distributed computing system underneath that for aggreg aggregating and presenting uh, real-time data. Uh, after prospecting some of the biggest customers in key verticals of interest, including Amazon and Kaiser in logistics, uh, Shell and Schlumberger uh, in oil field services, and uh, some more recently some of the folks in the commercial construction industry, come to realize that we're actually not in the technology business at all. Um, we are in the problem-solving business. And um, that's been quite a significant shift in the way that we um, approach the uh, development of our customer relationships and of our company. So um, in the few minutes that I have with you today, I um, want to take a look at one key problem that Visor is currently working on. Uh, to show you how um, an integrated see-through wearable display solution can um, make an impact in um, the efficiency and productivity of a job site. So um, our uh, customer is a $75 million a year commercial glazing company. And um, they want to become a $500 million a year commercial glazing company. Um, but um, they have a problem. Uh, the cost of hanging commercial glass goes something like this. Material is about 20%. Fabrication is another 8%. Engineering and general contractor relationships, another 7%. Installation, 15%, which is mainly what they're actually doing. Um, and the profit, after all of that, is 10%. But wait, what about the rest of the pie? Waste. There's 40% waste in this process. And that's an industry-wide uh, challenge. And um, that's, waste is prevalent across uh, commercial construction industry. And um, the industry is aware of the problem and they're looking for ways of uh, mitigating uh, waste. And, and there's a, a movement underway uh, in this industry called lean construction, whereby um, uh, the industry leaders are looking for ways of re-engineering their business processes in order to take advantage of next generation technology. So see-through head-mounted display, visor plays very well into this. Because this is the last thing that you want to have happen on your project. <laughs> and um, a lot of times when you don't have accurate data coming in from the field on a regular basis, that's when problems like this can happen. And of course, this is a worst case scenario, but <laughs> it's uh, certainly an apt visual for the kinds of things that we're trying to uh, prevent. So here on a um, typical commercial job site, I'm just going to share with you um, three different ways that um, we're looking to um, improve productivity uh, for our customer. First in the area of real-time data, um, we're designing a system for providing spotting cues to the glazers themselves. So they'll wear an AR headset like um, 
the um, Moverio, the Epson Moverio BT200 perhaps, or um, a custom one that we're working with uh, Imagine on, um, in order to um, be able to see a virtual representation with metrics about where that glass is hanging relative to um, the frame. Um, so that they don't need a, a seven-man team to hang a big piece of glass. They can do it with five or three. And if we go through the rest of the business process, we can actually find ways of getting that, um, that crew down uh, even further, which means that you have very productive workers that are also better informed. And um, that um, leads to improved safety, productivity, uh, efficiency, all of these good things that we know that AR can provide. And we know that here, but of course, out in the field, it's still an education. Uh, another part of the real-time data puzzle is the um, development of an accurate on-site uh, positioning system. In this case, very, with a very specific purpose to position that crane that hangs the glass so that um, you can get very close the first time and the spotters don't have to essentially um, call the crane to have the, the whole um, rig moved, they can um, get pretty close to where they need to be the first time. Um, two, improved documentation and project management tools. Um, you've got a, a larger commercial project, you might have uh, two or three thousand different custom parts that all have to go to a particular place and have to be installed in a slightly different way. And for those workers that are uh, in charge of that installation to be able to access the right drawing and see an exploded view is a big efficiency boost for them. And um, this particular customer is already running Inventor, uh, Autodesk product. And so they have the drawings, but getting them out to the front lines is still a big challenge. And AR headsets offer the promise of being able to do that in a way that still allows them to be productive with their hands. Documentation project management. To be able to use those wireframes um, in order to show progress and to coordinate progress between teams, not just you know, within the glass team, um, which I know has you know, multiple meetings in this room, but um, you know, with the uh, framers and um, the sheetrock guys and all the other crews that are on a large job site to be able to coordinate and uh, do so in a seamless, lightweight way that where the information that's specific to where they actually are is provided to them when they need it. That's the goal of, of you know, what Visor's trying to do in this space. And it's, you know, head-mounted display is one of the tools for delivering that, but clearly all of these systems rely on a, a, a complicated mesh of devices in order to be able to provide that solution. And uh, finally, communication services. So um, there are already robust, over-the-top voice and video uh, communication systems um, that are available in other environments. But making them work in a job site where um, your Wi-Fi network is just coming up. It's probably not robust enough on its own to be able to um, push around this kind of data uh, out of the box. It's our goal is to create a robust infrastructure for being able to deliver this kind of solution and then creating a custom interface that speaks to their needs, like to know who's on what floor, for instance, so that they can coordinate between floors and know who's um, online and to be able to access cameras on each floor so that you can see what's going on in areas that impact where you're working but aren't yet, um, but aren't visible uh, to you uh, through line of sight. So um, anyway, um, looks like uh, I've only got another few seconds here, um, but uh, I wanted to just keep it real 
sort of tight, just focus on one case so that we'd have uh, a little time to talk and uh, answer your questions. So um, back to you guys. Questions, anyone? I was just trying to connect the dots on the waste problem you described at the front end. Yeah. And I think you said AR was going to help solve that. And I sort of missed, missed the connection. Okay, sh sure. So um, waste takes many forms, actually. I mean, there's a lot of um, extra guys, for instance, just standing around. So part of that is making the guys that are on the site useful. Um, another is getting the right part to the right place. Because when the, guy, when the, when the right part goes to the wrong place, then um, it either gets installed, in which case it has to be uninstalled and sent to the right place, or it's not at the right where it should be, and then that guy's, you know, it, it creates all kinds of then ripple effects in the logistics. So to get that transparency in um, the, um, the logistical chain, all the way out to the job site in a way that um, it's very low cost to interact with in terms of diversion from um, your main task as a hands busy, eyes busy worker. That's really the goal of, of the kinds of systems that we're designing. We have time for one more question. Uh, yeah, wh which uh, you mentioned uh, partnerships maybe with Moverio and some others. Mm -hmm. uh, which part of what you're showing is your secret sauce and which part of it is uh, integration with partners? Uh, great question. So we are um, designing the um, connective glue. Um, and like for instance, in the case of uh, Moverio, um, we're looking at um, developing a ruggedized shell, for instance that would go that would wrap around their existing uh, optical systems architecture. Uh, maybe hot rodding the camera so that we can get the necessary additional sensing that we need in order to uh, do some of these fine positioning tricks. 